The Singhu border serving as the gateway between Haryana and Punjab resembled a fortified outpost bracing for potential conflict. Nearly 2 years after the conclusion of the farmers 377 day protest in 2020-21, their rallying cry of Delhi chalo echoed once again on Tuesday. Heavy security measures were evident along the 8 km stretch leading to the Haryana border with over 100 barricades, concrete boulders and barbed wire barriers lining the road. Thousands of personnel including units from the RAF, CAPF and Delhi police stood vigilant to thwart any attempts by farmers to enter the city. Authorities spared no effort in fortifying and sealing the city's borders to prevent a recurrence of the previous protests. Multi-layered obstacles including metal barricades, cement-sealed concrete blocks and barbed wire entanglements were manned by police and paramilitary forces inconveniencing commuters, factory workers and locals alike. Despite the strict measures, one lane on the highway remained open to facilitate the passage of ambulances while thousands of commuters stranded on buses from Haryana and Punjab were left frustrated. The narrow passage beneath the Singhu border flyover flanked by barbed wire posed additional challenges for pedestrians including patients seeking access to hospitals across the blockade. Restrictions stemming from the farmers protest were set to persist on Wednesday with North and East Delhi anticipated to bear the brunt of traffic disruptions. Special Commissioner of Police Law and Order Ravindra Yadav emphasized the criticality of preventing farmers from entering Delhi underscoring the need for logical and safety conscious action from deployed forces. In Delhi both the Singhu and Tikri borders were expected to remain closed on Wednesday with traffic diversions in place. The Delhi Traffic Police advised commuters to plan their journeys accordingly and avoid affected stretches during peak hours. The recent clashes between protesting farmers and police at the Shambhu border underscored the ongoing tensions surrounding demands for a law guaranteeing minimum support price for crops. Tear gas and water cannons were employed by police to disperse the demonstrators, highlighting the simmering discontent within farming communities across Uttar Pradesh, Haryana and Punjab.